Hello, friends, family, and my followers. This is Hike360, and I'm here to give you a new hike this week. Woo! Woo -hoo -hoo! Hey, guys. This right here is called the Devil's Canyon Overlook. I'm driving around Red River Gorge, which is in the Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky. This place is spectacular. I was not expecting it to be so mountainous, I guess. I mean, I can just see for so, so far away. And this is such a cool overlook right now. And I'm going to make my way to the sky bridge arch and then chimney rock feels good to be in this kind of nature though where there's cliffs and just the trees are gorgeous so green all right look around i'm on the lower portion of the skywalk arch where the actual arch is so naturally forming arch uh, if you're on the upper part you cross on top of it and arches are made from winds carving it out the rock yeah this one's this one's sweet it's just like a just you know one pretty sick compare this to Arches National Park in Utah where there's just you know, more than 10 natural arches all all in the same area but we're not in Utah we're in Kentucky and the same natural phenomena occurs. Here's more of the Skywalk Arch Trail. Very colorful rocks. Don't know where the water is coming from. There seems to be a lot of it. Could be a condensation forming on the rocks. It's gotta be it. It's a very hot, very humid day today. <sighs> Another beautiful vantage point of Daniel Boone National Forest. I am at the Whistling Arch. That's where we are. So we're gonna do Whistling Arch. Uh, as it turns out, this Red River Gorge has lots of different arches. So kind of funny, I was talking about Arches National Park in Utah, uh, but the difference between here and there is that this is a national forest and so there's just tons of trees. And whereas at um, in Utah, it was more, I would say, deserty, but uh, there's probably a better tr word, a better terrain word for uh, maybe like canyony, canyony. Uh, but it's there's not a lot of trees. But both do have lots of arches, lots of these naturally occurring arches. And so, apparently, just talked to some other people on the trail, and they said that the trail's blocked. To get to the actual 
whistling arch. So, yeah. But yeah, I mean, we are, we're on the cliff. Like, <laughs> I love this. I was just talking to someone at the visitor center, which by the way is called the Glade Visitor Center. And she uh, grew up and lived in West Dundee, which is like Elgin area or you know Chicago Chicago suburbs. And she said that she moved, well, she moved here in, to Kentucky about a year ago and has been working as a, uh, not a ranger, but you know, working at the National Forest. But she lived in Hawaii for 14 years. And she's talking about how in Hawaii, once you become a resident, like you get, you get, uh, there's like healthcare, you get universal healthcare, dental, vision. That's just something they do in the state. And she was bringing up the point that people make about why Hawaii being so expensive. She's like, no, it's not really that expensive. Oh, I'm seeing lizards. It's, like, it's not that expensive. Everybody barters. So she was like, I had mango trees and I'm allergic to mangoes. So I would just trade my mangoes for, you know, whatever the next person had, pork. And the last thing she said about Hawaii was how superstitious everybody is. Okay, well, I think I've made it as far as I need to go on this trail. Uh, yeah, Whistling Arch, pretty cool. Shout out to my friend at the Glade Visitor Center for telling me all about Hawaii. I'm thinking how Hawaii could be my last stop my last state to hike in and then I'll just buy a one-way ticket and live in Hawaii for a bit okay like and subscribe check out the other videos we're at Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky today peace